we're going to talk about cardiomyopathy. So when we assess a patient with cardiomyopathy, we're going to see those signs of heart failure. It almost mimics heart failure. Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. You'll see poor peripheral perfusion. So you might see decreased pulses. They may be pale. Um, and then it can also lead to that volume overload because of the fluid backing up. And so you'll see things like uh, JVD, where their jugular vein pops out of their neck, or you could see pulmonary edema, where they've got uh, shortness of breath, pink frothy sputum, and they have a, a cough, they have crackles in their lungs. And the other thing that you'll see is this large heart on imaging. Now, this could be a, a cardiovascular echo, or it could be a chest x-ray like what you see here. You'll notice this heart is absolutely huge. It is taking up almost all of this space where the lung should be on the left side. And so you can imagine how much these patients are going to struggle to breathe because of this, right? So when it comes to therapeutic management, one thing to note is that in most cases, there's no cure. Um, a lot of times it's only supportive care. So that involves similar things that we would do for a heart failure patient, like uh, encouraging rest and for them to cluster their activities. We also want to minimize their stress and treat their hypertension, especially if that was the cause. So this could be things like the DASH diet, sodium restriction, ACE inhibitors, or ARBs. Um, but the one that makes the biggest difference in the case of cardiomyopathy is beta blockers. They help decrease the workload on the heart by decreasing that force of contraction. This will also help to decrease the oxygen demand of the heart. So it doesn't have to keep working so hard because the harder it works, the more damage it causes. And then in the later stages of cardiomyopathy, it's really possible that the patient could really need a heart transplant. And so one of the things that we could do is insert a ventricular assist device as a bridge to heart transplant. Um, it looks something like this here. Essentially, the purpose is for the device to pull blood out of the left ventricle of the heart and pump it into the aorta so that it can be pumped out to the body because the left ventricle can't do that by itself. So to sum up, again, these symptoms will mimic heart failure because they decrease cardiac output. You'll see poor peripheral perfusion, volume overload, that's your JVD and your pulmonary edema. And remember that there is no cure really for cardiomyopathy. We just do supportive care. We want to control their blood pressure, manage their symptoms, and then they may end up with an LVAD as a bridge to transplant if necessary. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN, click the link in the description below, or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.